So who are you? I'm one of Brittany's guys. Brittany. Sorrel? Brittany? No, 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 no. His son, Alexi. I'm a driver, you know. Pick up work for the family. You're thick. Yeah. I hope that's not going to be a problem. No, no. That's quite the opposite. I was concerned you were one of Elena Christensen's devotees, those mad men that help her set off the bombs. <laughs> but aren't you her friend? Her friend? Oh, no, no, certainly not. My name is Fidel Ahmed. I work in biotech in Qatar. I met the doctor before she became, you know, whatever she is now. We thought her Kim A4 technology was very promising. Very, very exciting stuff, but we never had the chance to invest before. Just needed a few more tests. Okay, so what then? I mean, you're risking your ass out here too. This place is crawling with cops, feds, militia. Yeah, yeah, and they say one of your American superheroes is on his way too. An ugly cultural phenomenon. Our, 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 our times are filled with superheroes, perhaps because it seems like we have no normal heroes left. So what then? You come so far just to save her? Oh no, we're not saving her. <laughs> we're, we're collecting her for parts. What? Yeah, Dr. Christensen is a liability. Her mind is dangerous. Her body? Uh, it's priceless. The things we could learn, the things we could build. <laughs> okay, I don't... You mean you're gonna dissect her? Yes! You have some kind of moral objection? She's a human being. Oh, she's a murderer. She burns people alive. She wouldn't hesitate to do the same to you. <laughs> Listen, don't let my accent fool you. I'm a businessman. I'm not a terrorist. She's worth not millions, she's worth billions. She can affect real change in the world. All she has to do is die. This is a matter of opportunity. There is nothing sinister about it. You're cutting a woman into little pieces and your line is there's nothing sinister? Okay, you say you have no loyalty to her and yet you seem upset by the thought of her demise. Is it simply a great moral objection or a benevolent concern for all mankind? I don't know. What is it? I don't fucking know, man. All right? I don't know how to feel about any of this. It's all way above my, you know, pay grade. I just want a way out. Can you do that for me? We're not going to hurt you, but we're not here to rescue anybody. My most sincere apologies. Apologies. I've been getting a lot of those lately. Hey, what, you just gonna leave me out here? Doesn't seem very fair. You know, there's a saying in Qatar. Right, it's not fair. Yeah, we got that one here too. My friend, in truth, I think they have it everywhere. How about a cigarette? I quit. Okay. Perhaps if we talk a little more, something could be arranged for you. You're right, leaving you here seems arbitrary. Honestly, I'm just fucking exhausted.